Hi guys, oh. <clears throat> sit down girl, chill. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we have something a little different than what I usually am known for, you know, the picking out type of things in life. <laughs> I decided to have salad for breakfast. It's no longer breakfast time, but I didn't really eat today again. Usually I'm so busy with other things and then the day just passes you by and you don't even know it. Anywho, what I'm having today is, and I won't judge you if you click away, I'm having a salad for breakfast. What happened to that girl that ate cakes for breakfast? We miss you, girl. Let's take a look, see. Ah, this one you can get at Albert, uh, at Albert Heim. Usually I have this at work, but this week, actually this one I took to work with me, but I didn't eat it. So then I took it back home with me and I decided, hey, let's make a mukbang. Why not, you know? So this one has, it has, wait, ooh. Um, falafel, which I love, but this is like beetroot falafel, like rode bitte. I don't know, Dutch word. Anyway, beets in it. Not by Dre, but also red. Oh, beets aren't always red. Anyways, they have beets in them, in the falafel. They have um, bulgur, which is a kind of, I don't know if I'm saying it right. I'm probably butchering the word. Sorry, turkey. It's like Turkish. It's like, I would compare it to rice. And also some pizza bread that is lightly seasoned and crunchy and so good. Oh yeah, I also have some smoothie with me from Innocent. I love this brand. They have a bunch of smoothies and juices. Um, fresh, all of them. No preservatives and whatnot. I don't know how it's still preserved. In. I'm not going to ask too many questions, you know. Just go with it. If somebody tells you it's fresh, it's juice, it's natural and no preservatives, I believe them. <laughs> oh, there's also radishes in here, which I've grown to like. Isn't that crazy? Like seriously, I don't think anybody's gonna enjoy this mukbang. Does anybody do salad mukbangs? I heard that first. Maybe. I don't know. I don't like it. And it looks so cute. It does. Mm. But in case you guys were worried, I do have. Leftover cookies! Yeah! So you guys, I'm going on vacation and I still need to pack. Oh, who else has that problem? Am I the only one that packs like usually the day before? And it's gonna be the day before because I don't think I'm doing it today and tomorrow is the day before. So yeah, I've been living here for a couple of years but when I moved here from Curacao, I have this memory of like my 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 oh my god what's the word cover i want to say coffin but that's another thing my suitcase <laughs> i remember my suitcase laying in the living room empty distraught in shambles just clothes everywhere no it wasn't that bad actually it was neatly folded my mom is kind of ocd like that but it was literally hours this was literally hours before i had to be at the airport like um, to migrate to another country even then I don't pack on time so yeah I've given up that ship has sailed my friends how chill is this video compared to the drunk band we have to do more of those because that was everything I live mm. this is just adding more fuel to the vegans only eat salads fire oh no get back on my plate hm. are you judging me it's my table so it's my germs right the worst thing that could be on there is like makeup residue. How bad is that? Good? So I stayed home today. I'm gonna do some editing in a bit. Mm. And also, I'm waiting on this package because I ordered some bathing suits and I seriously, I'm praying, I'm hoping, all of those adjectives, um, that it comes on time because I fly on Monday. So. I don't have any more days, so I hope it comes today. Please, please come today. I'm just gonna stay here at home and waiting, waiting. But it's quite a lot. Mhm. Mm mm. I like it though, because of the bulgur and the falafel, mm. which are both carb sources. Mhm. Mm it fills you up. That is key. I don't think you can understand anything I'm saying. But yeah, 
I'm so excited to see my family. I live in Holland. My parents live in Curacao. My brother has a scholarship in America, Georgia. He's a swimmer. And um, we, the four of us, haven't been together in years. So that's going to be great. We'll be reunited and it feels so good. And for Christmas, like, how great is that? I've missed Christmas in Curacao, oh my gosh, so much. But I it everywhere. Oh my gosh, and shout out to Madison Mugbang. She makes, like, even, like, non-vegan junk food she like recreates it and makes her own version that's amazing if you like my mukbangs check hers out yep yep i'm totally going over there and just i'm gonna let her feed me uh-huh oh mm-hmm it's gonna be a good time google are going everywhere like at work maybe at work i have like another personality because seriously right now the food is going everywhere, and this never happens there. And you don't even don't have, I don't even have a knife at work. So how do I eat it there and that? Oh, I think I eat it like this. I remember this motion. But still, how's that? Less messy than this. I'm just a mess in general. Yummy! We got... Smooth as in the building. Mm hmm Oh, oh, her, her. You guys like this spa, by the way? I don't care if you don't. I do. It really does change your whole appearance. Maybe even personality. Am I like Velma now? Jinkies! Jinkies! Oh, anytime I have the wigs on. This wig on. I'm gonna say jinkies instead of yikes, which is like my favorite word at the moment. Yikes. I don't know why. I don't know if that's a good thing, but I guess it tells you how my life is going. <laughs> Cry for help. Okay. <laughs> I just realized I'm totally a Kardashian. Chloe, stop. That's not fun. I feel like I would totally be Courtney if I was a Kardashian. That is totally me. Like, she is so unbothered at everything. <laughs> when she gave birth and she, pull, she pulled the child out of her hoo-ha. Like, you really don't care. <laughs> You're crazy. She kind of crazy. I don't know. I don't know. That's amazing. Anyways. What was I saying? Oh, yeah. I've been really busy at work. I've got something planned. For on my birthday, special. I won't say anything about it. You'll just see it when you see it. But anyways, I've been working on that secret project. Also, that. Working on the DJ set. Like, everything's been happening at the same time. And it's been a lot. And I constantly feel like I'm forgetting something. So right now, I'm so, like, uh, oof. I guess I was kind of stressed. I don't know. But now I'm so ready to have, like, just three weeks to be just with family and just... Ah, relax and have fun. Maybe do some videos there too. I don't know what, but yeah, probably I'm gonna do that. That'll be fun. Mm -hmm. I'm almost finished. Well, um, that's another resolution for 2018. I'm definitely gonna start um, uploading twice a week. At least once, but twice is gonna be the goal. Uh. Whoa! <laughs> I still feel like there's another one in there. <gasps> okay, no. It's still, still fermenting, you know? It has to age. It has to ripen for ill. <laughs> Hashtag reasons why I'm single. I had a DJ gig yesterday. It went really well. That's one of the reasons I was super busy these days. Figuring out the DJ set, work, everything, blah, blah, blah. YouTube channel, yes, yeah, I still have to edit. <sighs> Do you ever have the feeling that you're constantly, like, you're constantly forgetting something because there's so much going on? But it is a good feeling to have, I'm not gonna lie. I'm really glad I'm doing more stuff outside of just, like, you know, work, which I call, like, 9 to 5 work. Because this is basically work, too. You have to put in a minimum amount of hours if you feel like it or not. Maybe, like, I'm late realizing that, but... 
you have to start viewing your dreams like your real ambitions whatever you really want to go for in life also as work it's not just like fun let's just say for the sake of you know this argument if everybody hates their job but you're willing to do that day in day out for hours on end like if you take eight hours that's a third of your day on something you hate why would you not dedicate at least two hours four hours to something you love that you could maybe make a job you have to just put time into it and i don't care if you don't feel like it just do it mm. almost done still kind of hungry though i ain't gonna lie to y'all what else am i gonna eat mm. it's cookie time i'm just gonna i'm not gonna clean up mm. <laughs> i'm already eating <laughs> we got Hot water in the building. Mm hmm. This is a strict tea bag free zone. As you can tell I tried a side sweep thing. Not sure how I feel about it. In life, I think it's as important to know what you don't like it is as what you do like. So you just gotta try stuff out, really. You might flop, you might not, you might like it, you might hate it. But at least you'll know. Like, that's what's the point. Mm. These cookies actually are growing on me. Mmm. You know what it is? I think if you don't have anything to compare it to, it's fine. Because I'm sorry, the coconut cookies were killing it. But, now that they're not an option, these are fine. What is even in here? Special shout out to you to not adding the calories. Oh, I think it was on, but it was on the thing. There was like a little tag on it. I threw that out. Or ate it, probably ate it. But I don't know. I guess we'll never know. I don't know. This is the. Uh, what is it? Uh, yo, y'all gotta add the name to it at least. I can tell you it's like a double chocolate, double chocolate cookie. It's got chocolate chips and cookie, but mm, chocolate cookie. <laughs> I think these are nuts, and that's what makes it so good to me right now. These nuts. My package is still not here. I am freaking out. So what am I gonna do? I have so many bathing suits, like cute ones. Now I might not. Well, okay, it wasn't that deep. My table was really not here for it. But now it's gonna be here too late. I'm not even gonna be here. Oh, that's like so bad. Oh well. Oh, first world problems. I'll get over it. But you guys, I'm gonna wrap it up, you know, this is gonna be a bit of a shorter one, I think. I don't know, maybe I had some gems in there that it's gonna make it a really long video, but I don't think so. If you live in Rotterdam or Holland, you know, and there's any other, like, good vegan places that I should try, please let me know. I'll gladly try them. Please let them know. They should let me try it, so maybe I can get a sponsorship. <laughs> no, I'll pay, I'll pay, fine! This was fun for me, as per usual. I don't know about it for you. I don't know. Did you like the salad? Do you, would you like me to do like healthy mukbangs as well? Or just stick to the junk? Let me know. I'm going to add a poll right here. Oh God, I know how I can add polls to stuff. That sounds really suspect. Anywho, thank you so much for watching. I'll be going on vacation. So I th think like for the coming weeks, my videos will be a bit different. Who knows? I don't plan stuff ahead. I'm like a we'll see as we get it. we'll cross that bridge when we get to it type of gal when especially when it comes to my youtube i'll see you next time bye it's like one cookie but i'm gonna save it for later <laughs> does anybody else's fridge do this what is this is this a present like yo fridge cool off uh-huh like what, what what am i supposed to do with this just big blocks of oh yeah stripping every okay bye that's the stuff I'm recharged! Mm-hmm. It's a wrap. We good. I'm over it.